At this point, we probably all have seen this movie, Spider-Man No Way Home, and this is the art book by Marvel Studios. It has uh, 224 pages and is signed. <laughs> This is exactly the way I love my art books, which is signed many thanks to uh, Jana for this, um, who passed the book along for the folks to sign. I gotta say, this, um, this was a nostalgic experience in general, like the, the whole movie. I mean, things got spoiled and they were, everybody was just like, you know, the other ones will be there and stuff like that. And, and yeah, I know, I get it. It's, it's fine. But still nothing really prepared you for the entire experience, right? Like for everything that was about to happen there and the people you're going to meet again. I think early on, Dr. Octopus uh, with Molina was, um, was spoiled very early into the whole thing. But um, I didn't know about, uh, I don't know, yeah, here, J. Jonah Jameson or, you know, um, the Green Goblin. Like, I, don't, I didn't expect that to happen anyway. So here we do have top two Schroeder, Hargreaves, Reha. Could it be that I finally found a book where people are being credited? Could it possibly be happening? I think it's happening. Wow. Yes. Artists are being credited as they should. Amazing. This book already fucking wins. Um, Great insight, by the way. This this looks good. As usual, amazing artwork. <laughs> Top McFarlane, yes, true. This looks cool, Doctor Octopus with a beard. Why the hell didn't you do? Why the hell didn't you do that? That would have been such a sweet thing to do. I don't know, makes him look kind of badass. I mean, that version is also fun, but I don't know. Look at this. Look at this. Some Hal Drogo version of Dr. Octopus. Nice. That face. All right. Yeah. It was a pretty cool idea to incorporate a couple of things, like to get rid of that ridiculous mask and just give him a hood. That was, that was pretty cool. That was a good decision. They should have done it like this from the beginning. Instead of this weird mask, like why would someone build that even? Like, what's the point? Yeah, yeah, this looks good. Adi Granov, artworks on the previous page. Some more. Sweet. Saunders. Hold on. Heh! One idea was that Osborne's glider would be destroyed, but he would gain access to other Marvel Cinematic Universe airborne technology to use as an alternative, including one of the drones from Marvel Studios Spider-Man Far From Home and parts of an Iron Man suit. Wow! The Goblin used some of the... This is fucking cool! This would have been better. Right? Tell me in the comments! Tell me in the comments what you think. Kurt Connors. I really like the Andrew Garfield Spider-Man. I don't know how you feel about it, 
But Andrew Garfield is a great fucking actor. He did a good job. And he gave the character pathos. Tom Holland is great. I'm not saying he was bad. I'm just saying that the pathos that you could see, like the actual, whenever he was just like, I don't know, devastated and, and, and down on the ground and people were just kicking on him. I mean, at least emotionally. That was, that was really well acted for a superhero movie. No, I'm, I'm, but for real, no. I think Tom Holland is a great actor. I think Andrew Garfield was the better Spider-Man. And I miss that Spider-Man. Dearly. What's with this? I don't know, this is, this is kind of very playful here. That stuff. That's not really helping. Some props, some more variants of the of the costume by Minor Ding. Oh, I didn't know. Mache Kuchara was working on this. That's cool. Huh? Is this is this MJ from the first movies? No, it's his aunt. Never mind. Yeah, that was that was a cool moment. Spider Bros. Fuck yeah. I really should get my hands on the Spider-Verse art books. These are probably even crazier. That must be so much good art. I haven't looked at any of those art books. I really, I really need to check that out. That was a weird detail, wasn't it? Okay, what? <laughs> okay, yeah. Badass, some spread pages. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right. I like it. I like it. This I don't like. The rest I like. Hmm. Just some stuff that is kind of weird. Not wrong, just weird. But it's uh, that's good. It's a good book. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, Afterward by Ryan Minerding. Cool, some biographies. All right, this is how you do it. This is, this is how you do it. This is what I'm talking about. Why can't everybody make art books like that? I'm freaking out talking to a fucking phone camera right now, but seriously, it's like, <laughs> what's so hard? Just a name there, some names here. This is amazing. This, this here, this amazing. Why not all the books like that? Guys, I would never have thought to say something like that, but take a page out of that book next time you're making uh, an art book about your triple a game or something and mean to not credit the artist because this is fucking great this is done exactly how it should be i don't i don't even care that much about that book anymore this is just like whenever someone's referencing me like oh you know companies today and well, stuff like that i'm gonna be like well look at this right you have you have everything that you actually need to do a proper art book. This is all here. How to do it. Amazing. Including the signatures. <laughs> Fucking great. Westbird. Anyway. 
that's the art of Marvel Studios Spider-Man No Way Home. Holy shit, that's a long title, but it's also a great book. Um, get your answer. Production-wise, it's it's a standard. You know, the the paper inside is glossy and and cheap. You know, it's very highly reflective. It's kind of like wobbly, fatty paper. It's okay. You know, it's it's been produced a lot a lot probably so it's not it's not the top-notch stuff but i didn't expect that especially for that price how much was it even? okay it's 60 dollars i would have expected better paper for 60 dollars i'm so i'm sorry it's 60 dollars that could have used some better paper i don't know probably the the publisher which is marvel themselves apparently i won't I don't know. I I can't really come up with many reasons to not make it a bit better. I don't know who they have. To, probably, maybe they have to pay Sony or some stuff. I don't know. Anyway, blah, blah, blah. It's a great book. Get your hands on it. If you can, get it signed. Uh, for example, uh, go to Playgrounds, the art department, and meet Carla Ortiz. And if you have an art book with <laughs> Dr. Strange designs in there, why not have it signed? Actually, I have a poster from Doctor Strange that my son has and I can take it and have it signed by Carla. That's exactly what I'm going to do in Eindhoven in about a week from now. Um, I hope you enjoyed this little video. There's more coming. Um, I'm just gonna record another one and probably another one because I'm kind of like in between some assignments right now and between deadlines. So I got the time and before I'm falling again into a hole of doing no reviews at all, I'd rather just make five, six, seven or something and then just post them along the way. Anyway, blah, blah, blah. Uh, check out my Kickstarter stuff, my bios and whatever. There's campaigns going right now. Uh, you really want to check them out. Um, there's some cool stuff coming next month too with Dominic Maya's art book uh, called Incendium and, uh, and more. Uh, we're working on a book with uh, Vanessa Lehmann right now. There's another one with Nikolai Georgiev coming out uh, called Fuel Stains. It's a Corette book. Um, what else? That's it. Anyway, have a good one. I hope you enjoyed this. Until next time, bye-bye.